Okay, in Belcanto, uh, in Apoggio of Belcanto, what, what, what happens is, is that um, we, there's a certain set of vowels that are sort of, they're Latin based, and we don't sing in Latin, and we're not planning on singing in Latin, though they're in dark and cover. I'm going to give you a demonstration of a really fat, round, sound, Pavarotti, you know, like say, Jesu sort of sound. So I want you to hear. Hello. It's a big sound. It's a cool sound. It's awesome. For that style, it's awesome, right? Could we ever really sing that song and that sound in pop? I mean, if we're the Benedictine monks of Santo Domingo de Silo and we happen to have some weird niche and people like what we do, maybe, but that's not us. So instead of the really dark covered sound, we can take the same exact feeling in the throat. space, the same support mechanism, the same sound pressure, same amount of compression, and we can recreate that sound to fit the need of what it is that we're looking to sing. So, you baby, you, you baby, you, right, I can, I, I can do it either way, but ideally, uh, to translate the sound, I love bel canto, I love appoggio, it's, 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 I grew up on it my whole life, and I, I, I hold to 90% of its tenets. But we can't do that sound that dark in pop, right? So all of a sudden, you're, you're trying to work out the equation of how do we open up the sound. Well, we brighten the face. So let's do it again. <laughs> Instead of that, watch the same sound. It's the same sensation, I'm just not darkening or coloring the sound and making it that dark. And that's exactly and precisely what I've walked you through um, in the volumes of how to open up the sound, okay? So, now, we need to do more than one vowel sound, which is, or, you know, one derivation of a vowel sound, which is all vowel sounds stem from the ah, it's the la, right? So instead of ah, ah, uh, we're going to go oo. The easiest sound to, 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 um, to, to, to use vibrato, to, to, to understand or um, work up vibrato. U, O, A, E, like lead, E, and E. So we're going to do this down a little lower. Now, here's what I want you to have the feeling of. I want you to have the sensation that it's all kind of the same vowel. Ooh, oh, I, not ooh, oh, I, I don't want that. I want it to have the same feeling in the back of the throat that it's all kind of the same vowel sound with subtle changes in between the sound. Okay? So if you're ready, we're going to do that. I say, guys, remember everything. Don't, don't move the jaw. Don't make your body shake. Remember the support. Remember all these little things because this will help you, help you, help you. sound really closed? Not here. Not here. We need that feeling in the vowel transition between E and E, more like lead, so that the vowel sound stays open like ah. In other words, I, I talk fast, sorry. Um, ah, ah, o, e, e. Ah, ah, o, e, e. Listen closely. You hear very 
little change, very little change in the sound, so important. If you can nail this, guys, I promise it will rock your voice, it will rock your world. Because then all of a sudden you're not constantly looking and trying to figure out, how do I get this? And I, sometimes I can't hit the E, and sometimes I can't hit the O, and it's the same sound. If you can develop the same feeling and sensation with support mechanism, you can nail this sucker over and over and over again, okay? <laughs> Now here, around here, remember, we have vowel modifications. So if you're a tenor and you've been doing the chorus, you remember this. You remember this, right? Ooh. Well, gosh, Ken, I thought you said ah goes to ah goes to uh goes to ooh. Well, what if you're singing an ooh down here? Right? And now we're talking about vibrato and I'm talking about vowel modifications and I want to do this because it's important in the context of singing. It really is O. It's really O at this point because remember, in, in, our, in, in the How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else series, O and O, they have this toggle that goes back and forth. La ha, hu, ha, hu, ha. Right? It's, it's the same. So as you go higher, O goes to O. Then O goes to O, and O goes back to O. So la right? So O on the bottom, as it goes up a little bit, goes to O. As it goes a little higher, it goes to O. Now, I don't have time to go back through all of our vowel modifications. We've done that in the course. Again, this is after the fact. But I want you to remember to do that here because it's the same thing. So if we're going up as a tenor, you're approaching the E, right? A la, instead of going la, ooh, 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 it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill you. So we start a little bit on skosh on O, right? Let's do it again. Watch this. A la. sudden we can open up to that sound and we're not getting caught on the chord and you know closing off the back of the throat and constricting air etc right let's continue why are we doing this because we don't want to have I say soft spots because I use soft spots as an example of um, when, uh, uh, the reason again in the house how to sing course I don't want you la because I don't want to stair step our way to those sounds because then we our voice has a muscle memory and so all of a sudden we're not able to um, kind of swagger between notes la we can't get in in and out of notes and, and this is also true with the vowel sounds so we have to accommodate and make sure that the throat feels and understands different vowel sounds. So we have to know how to open up the throat and change and transition between the vowels. So let's keep going. Here we go. F sharp. <laughs> and take your time in between these. So you, Remember we talked about these amphitheaters in the back of the throat and you hit these amphitheaters, it's like a reverb pocket. Remember that you want to hit that little pocket like, like you're soaked in reverb to be able to relax into the note, okay? So that as you do this, you're going to be able to relax to the sound between each vowel sound because the vowel sounds are what are going to give you the ability to do that whenever you go to sing a vocal phrase. If you only do one vowel sound, you're locked in. There's something called twang and it goes, it works off the E, E, eh. You know, all of a sudden, uh, uh, every vowel has to accommodate that vowel sound. We don't want that. We start all vowel sounds stem from the ah. It's the la, except u and e. So we have all of our vowel sounds. We're really open, and we make a couple little exceptions. And the, you know, it's kind of like looking at um, the English language. You know, uh, we talk about you know a e i o u, and sometimes y. It's a it's, it's an exception to the rule of the way we speak. 
Um, this is true conic for singing in that sense. All the all sounds stem from the ah, except for u and e, and we make little exceptions for them. But u and o are very similar, and they actually stem from the ah vowel. They're just a lot more closed. E is its own animal, and we deal with it. So let's keep going. Um, right? Remember your support. Remember all your stuff. Let's continue. We're not going to go super high. I just want you to get the feeling of this and do this over and over and over again until you get it. All right? Here we go. Hello. practicing this back and forth till you get this feeling in your throat to where you've totally relaxed to the sound. Okay, so we've run through some things that are a basis, a really strong basis for really good vibrato. A, a great way to develop vibrato. Now, I posted on my website the, the singers that I like, their kinds of vibrato, how they achieved it. I think you'll get a kick out of it because it's, it's, it's pretty uh, pretty expansive, you know. You, you've got Juicy Borling, or Juicy Borling, Lou Graham, David Coverdale, Steve Perry. By the way, Steve Perry, another guy, Bel Canto. Steve Perry. And he moves gospel jaw. You know, they, they, you know people bag on these guys, but uh, I think Steve had, in his day, a pretty doggone good vibrato. Um, I have uh, Nat King Cole, like Bing Crosby, Ronnie James Dio. I've got a lot of different people uh, that I think uh, you can listen to and listen to their vibrato, listen to the swagger of their, of their vibrato and enjoy it. But um, more than that is your vibrato. It's your fingerprint. It's who you are. It's what lands you as a singer. So as you work on this, it's your signature when you sign your name on a check or something. It's who you are. So if you go... It's your sign. It's who you are. It's who I am. Right now, we can change it, and we can um, match other people's vocals. <laughs> Vibrato? Vibrato is the final stage of a release valve, the final stage of a release valve to relax into a whole note, a well-placed whole note with good tone and clarity and super strong support. And this will help you develop that and grow the voice like you never ever imagined your voice could grow. So thank you for joining me and uh, more to come. <laughs>